And he called me. My daughter had already slipped and passed. He called me that night at 10 o'clock. He didn't even say nothing. He just was crying. So I already knew what it was. You feel what I'm saying? So at that moment, I just was like, man, I ain't care about nothing, bro. Like, I did so much bad stuff, man. I did so much bad stuff, dog. I, I knew my mom wasn't going to make it. I ain't even pray for her. Not to sound heartless or nothing. It's because of the bad stuff that I did. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Uh, I want to ask you about that day, and I know you, I don't want to take you there alone, but um, you to lose your mother and your daughter on the same day, that was extraordinary when I researched you. Um, and I, and I, you know, I, I try to figure out how you made it through it. You know what I'm saying? Well, it had to be God to even get you to where you could even make it through something like that. Um, where did you find your strength, man? You want me to lie? No, I want you to. I want you to tell the <laughs> truth about it. I mean, you know, to, because for that to happen, you know what I mean. On the same, in the same moment, and to being the type of guy that you were, how did you make it through it? You know what I mean. I didn't make it through it. I just don't. I just don't let it. I just don't let it affect me no more. I ain't got over that, man. I ain't got over that. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a big old picture of my mama. Soon as I open my eyes, she on the wall looking at me like, I know you have nightmares, baby. I'm right here watching you. I got you. He didn't want to call me and told my mama dead. Him. Wow. I was in the house stressing because my daughter just died. I wasn't even at the hospital because the hospitals was like 30 minutes apart from each other. My daughter was at uh, Joe DiMaggio in Hollywood. My mom was at Miami Jackson in, in Miami. So I'm going from this hospital to that hospital. And my ex-wife was from Jamaica as well. So mm -hmm. I'm going to this hospital and that hospital. This hospital, I'm back and forth. So my siblings, of course, they with mama. You feel me? My wife, of course, she with my daughter. I have to be on both scenes. So every now and then, my brother, them going to go see their niece. My sister, them going to come see their niece. Different hospitals. Different hospitals, man. You feel How me? How far so, apart? 30. 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but my wife, she ain't leave. She ain't, she ain't want to see my mom. This is her daughter. You feel me? Right. So it's like, I'm the one got to go back and forth. So I just said, man, F for everybody. I went home. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it was like, it was like quiet, but it was loud. You feel me? Nobody went on there. So it was quiet, but it was like loud, bro. It was like so it was like so loud. And he called me. My daughter had already slipped and passed. He called me that night at 10 o'clock. He didn't even say nothing. He just was crying. So I already knew what it was. You feel what I'm saying? So at that moment, I just was like, man, I ain't care about nothing, bro. Like, I did so much bad stuff, man. I did some of my bad stuff, dog. I, I knew my mom wasn't going to make it. I ain't even pray for her. Not to sound heartless or nothing. It's because of the bad stuff that I did. You know what I'm saying? I knew. But I... I, I, I fell out with God because of my daughter, not because of my mama. You can't take my daughter. She's 12. Yeah. I felt, I felt it was real. I felt like you really tried me. Like my mom, I did a lot of bad stuff. I was accused... Of a lot of bad stuff. So you feel like God was just dishing it back to you? Not with my daughter. With my with mom. With your mom I'm talking about. Because I like, when I sat at the table with my brothers and mm -hmm. we sat down and I told them that I ain't pray for mama, niggas looked at me like I was crazy. You feel me? But it just was because of the stuff that we did. And I'm not the biggest, baddest person ever in history. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but the stuff that we did... It'll make a nigga move out of town. We're running nigga out of town with the stuff we was doing. You feel me? It was like, it was so evil. It was like evil. It was like demonic. It was like so, bro. It was like, you ask this nigga, man, yo, I don't sleep because I can't sleep. 
because when I try to when I try to sleep and it's I wake up, it's like it's like the souls, bro. It's like the souls, bro. It's like all the souls that's gone haunting. It's, yo, it's like yo, it was like them niggas won't let me sleep, yo, like for nothing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.